huh, we have a mini game. There's an angry kid right there, and we're playing as Blossom. Can I jump? Oh, spaces to jump. Oh, he's happy now, because I just gave him some, some, uh... Is it steak? I think it's steak. I'm not sure. Oh, I can jump. Blossom jumps... Blossom jumps pretty high. That's impressive. Oops. I just died. Can I start the minigame all over again? Because I, I just closed out of the game. Oh, I can. Perfect. Okay, good. I can start the minigame over again. Okay, so as the sound suggests, this is Super Mario Bros. themed. And we have to give out steak or burgers. I think it's, I believe it's steak. We have to give them out to the children. The angry children. Oh, come on! I cannot time the second jump. What the heck? It just brings us to the menu, but I'm going to do this mini game for the sake of this video because the mini games are fun to play. I do like the nice Super Mario Bros. touch. It's definitely a nice touch. Okay, come on. Alright, here you go. Okay, how do I time this jump without dying? There we go. Okay, I timed the jump properly. Good. So we have to deliver 10 total stakes to the children. To a bunch of angry children who later become happy children when you bring it to them. Alright. Can I jump on that? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay. You're a pretty high jumper, Blossom. I can tell you that. Okay, how do I get down there to get that kid? Is there a way I can get down there or no? There's probably a way to get down there. I don't know if there is. Okay, why am I stuck? Am I... what? Okay. Okay, I thought there was a glitch. Okay, there's a way to go back. I figured it out. Why am I levitating? Is that a bug or something? I don't get why I'm levitating. Okay, so we're down on the ground. There you go. Let's keep moving. Okay, so we got three more stakes to give out. What? I couldn't time the jump correctly. God, why can you never time jumps correctly in Super Mario Bros? That's the annoying part about Super Mario Bros. Timing the jumps. Because if you fall off a ledge, it's game over for you. Well, actually, it's game over if you lose all your lives. If you, you die once, you lose a life. And then if you lose all of them, then it's game over. Okay. Let's try the minigame again. This minigame is definitely off to a rough start because timing the jumps is tricky. Okay, there we go. Why is Blossom levitating? Is that supposed I feel like that's a bug because Blossom cannot be- because Blossom shouldn't be levitating in this game if she's not flying. If you're not flying, you can't levitate. Okay. I, okay, I can't I can't go down there. Let me just try something. Okay, here you go. Why am I levitating? That's so messed up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're finally on the ground. Thank you. Okay, so now I have to just keep... Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can time this jump. There we go. Okay, we time... Okay, let me try to time this jump again. 
There we go. Okay. Jumping across like the big gaps is where you gotta time it correctly, and that is tricky. I know that because I had to do that a lot in Super Mario Bros. There we go. Okay. Um. Plus, you can't run in this game too, so that's kind of a defeat, a downside. You can levitate though if you jump on like an edge or something, which is pretty cool. But I think that's a bug. It's cool you can levitate when you jump on the corners, but I think that's a bug. Okay, so we're jumping. Okay, here comes the levitation again. What is with the levitation? Okay, so we got three more stakes to deliver. <laughs> Seriously, Blossom, how many times are you going to levitate in this minigame? Okay, one more kid, and then we're done with the minigame. Okay, so now what happens next? We got all the, the stakes, so now what happens next? Oh, I just enter a building? Oh my god! Blossom just killed a child. Find us Power Book Girls 3. Oh my god. That is agonizing to look at. Okay, so what's next? Oh, we jump into night one. Okay. Mouse is to look around. Haunted Pizzeria? We would like you to have your greatest experience here. Using the buttons below the screen, please select your type of music to play in the office. Press yellow for rap, red for country, blue for rock, and purple for royalty free. I'm gonna go with rock, because rock's my favorite type of music. Thank you for selecting generic spooky horror music. Spooky horror music? Now that you're comfortable with the place you are in, let's begin your job. Let's start off I wouldn't say I'm comfortable in a haunted place on stage already. By turning on the dining area camera with that big red button to your left. Okay, that's the camera. Okay. Uh oh, it seems they are off camera. We're going to have to take a direct approach to this. Go into the vent that is in the middle. Okay, uh, is this the vent? Where's the vent? Oh, that's the vent, okay. Oh, so this reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy Freddy's sister location. Scared while crawling through the vent, it is worth mentioning that 90% of workers die. What? I'm pretty sure that's scary what you just mentioned. Dying in a vent is scary. Okay, I guess I just gotta keep moving until I get somewhere. Here we are. You have to find Blossom and her friends. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Okay, what's a tape recorder? I mean, where's the tape recorder? Okay, so what do I do? Okay, we can go through this. Okay, so do I just remove something? Let's go. That's a birthday boy. Oh, hi, Blossom. Hi, Brick. Hi. Oh, God. Okay, I forgot the instruction for how to do it. So I gotta play a tape recorder if I see an animatronic. Okay. Here we are. You'd have to find Blossom and her friends. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. 
Okay, so we go in an office right here and we have to play a tape recorder if any animatronic is nearby. Okay, so I'm playing a tape recorder. That's a birthday boy. So I think that will get rid of them. Okay, so so if we see an animatronic, we have to keep playing the tape recorder. What? How did I die? I pressed the tape recorder. Is there another tool we have to use or something? I'm confused. Here we are. You'd have to find Blossom and her friends. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You'd have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Well, I can't really get to work when I'm being killed. Am I supposed to remove these screws or something? Cause, or are they just for show? Like, what do I do here? Okay. So I'm playing the tape recorder, like I'm supposed to. Okay. This is the confusing part. Do I have to wait till a specific animatronic shows up, or how do I do it? Here we are. You'd have to find Blossom and her friends. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You'd have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Okay, so if one's nearby, okay, who does it have to be that's nearby? I assume if they get closer we have, is when we play the tape. Like right now, I just played it since one got closer. Okay, so if they get closer to the door, I think that's when we play it. Like, is that close enough? I see you. I think... Okay, I think it has to be... I think that animatronic we saw, which I believe it's Blossom, has to be closer to the door in order for me to play it. Okay. Alright, Night One is definitely... Are. Night One we is tricky. And her there are this is a little tricky and confusing. I can't figure it out. Find a certain button, but be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Okay, so we have to... If an animatronic is nearby, play the radio thing, or the tape recorder, and we have to find a specific tool. Well, what is that tool that we need to find? Is it in here? Oh, wait. Oh, so we have to remove the fuse box. Okay. Alright, so we have to unscrew a fuse box, I think, or a safe box. There's a button inside the the safe thing that we have to remove the screws with. You'd have to find Blossom and, her friend. and if an animatronic gets close, we have to play the tape of them. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Okay, so now I have an understanding how to do this. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so we need to remove the screws right over here. While keeping an eye out for the animatronics. And if they're nearby, we have to... Press the tape recorder. That's a birthday boy. Okay. 
Oh wait, I, that's either Brick or Blossom. Okay, so apparently, I think if Brick gets the closest, we have to play the the, the tape recorder. Here we are. I can't we time it correctly. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Okay. So we figured it out. We have to remove four screws to access the button. And whoever gets close, and then if anybody gets close, we have to play the speaker, like right here. Okay, she's close enough, so I gotta play it. Do I have to keep playing it repeatedly, or do I stop to play it? I don't know, God. Why is Brick making it so confusing? God, I keep dying to Blossom and Brick because it's confusing. Here we are. You'd have to find Blossom and her friend. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You'd have to use those tools to find a certain button. This is confusing. Be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. I think we just have to keep playing the tape recorder while unscrewing the, um, the safe thing. have to be closer to do this? Does Brick have to be closer? Here we are. You'd have to find Blossom and her friend. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You'd have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Who has to be nearby for me to activate the tape recorder? I assume if Brick appears a third time we play the tape? Is that when we do it now? I... Okay, we don't do it then. How many times do we have to play the tape? I can't do this. Here we are. This you is have to this find is confusing. Her friend. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You have to use I gotta watch someone else's let's play button. after this video but so I can get a point of view out of this. Animatronic is near you. You have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. So when do we play the tape? Okay, that's Boomer. I see you. Please, nothing up here. Go fast. How was I supposed to know he was going to kill me? When do I know he's closer? How do I know when Brick's closer? All I see is Brick, Boomer, and Blossom. Here we are. You'd have to find Blossom and her friend. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful. If an animatronic is near you, you'd have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. Can you guys just let me access the the button without killing me please because that's what you guys are trying to do to me okay so when do i play it
So I'm kind of getting a pattern of how to do it. So, okay, so when Brick shows up with a Boomer head, with Boomer attached to him, that's when we do it. Okay. Here we are. I'm trying to understand the point of view, and it's hard to understand it. Can you just give me? Can you just give me the make the button an easy access so I don't have to unscrew a safe? Because I want to just get on with this game and not have to be killed every five seconds. Hold on. When do I know when Brick comes? Okay. Uh. When do I play it? Yeah, no shit you do. Okay, so... When I see Blossom or Brick, I forget who that one is. I can't tell. Up here, like, fully up here for the third time, then we press it. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, I got him in time. That's a birthday boy. What? I thought I timed it correctly. God, why can't I time the tape correctly? Like, that's stupid. The tape is so hard to time correctly. Do I have to keep playing it there or something? You'd have to find Blossom and her friend. Okay, my best there bet is to just keep playing it while unscrewing the button. Find a certain button. Well, be careful. If the animatronic well, I'm just going to rush it just to, for the heck of it. Okay, just for the heck of it, I'm going to rush the whole thing. Okay, so rushing it was not worth it then. Great. It's worth a try to try to rush it. I can't even rush it. It's not going to work. You have to find Blossom and her friend. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You have to use those tools to find a certain button. How about you Careful. shut up? I want to mute the phone call, but I can't. You have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. God, this phone guy is not helpful for this room. After 25 minutes of trying to run through this, I'm just going to end the video here because night one is just so frustrating and confusing. Trying to figure out how to play the tape at the right time. As soon as I end the video, I'm going to go check on the, um, I'm going to watch a walkthrough by somebody or another gameplay so I can get a point of view how to do this. But anyways, 
I'll continue on with night one and part two of the Let's Play. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications about coming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.